So it's the 22nd of June, it's uh, 20 past 7 in the morning, I'm just off down to the local greengrocers. I've got 20 bunches of pinks, we started cutting those yesterday. And that's uh, the rest of the gooseberry crop, there was about the same again uh, last week. So altogether, probably around about 30 kilos I guess. Pretty much down from last year, but I guess that's due to the dry weather. Anyway, I'll see you later. 26th of June, Saturday, down the plot. I'm just going to turn you around slowly. So we had some heavy rain all day yesterday, to be honest, and uh, it must have done a real lot of good. So I'll have a quick look around the plot in just a second, but there's some weird stuff going on I want to share with you. A few weeks ago I got some bare-rooted strawberry plants, and they're all dead, apart from this one which looks like it's going the same way so the leaves start dying back they're not they're not brittle or anything but they just go this brown sort of color and then they just end up like this uh, I don't know what's going on with it at all if anybody can tell me I, I thought it might be something to do with a compost um, I, I'm not sure about that the only thing maybe to do is Perhaps I could take this one out and put it in some different composts and see, you know, if I probably will do that. Yeah, so that's really weird and frustrating. Now over here I've got two blueberry bushes. Now this probably is more my fault. I just, they, they obviously went short of water. And um, this one here you can see it's almost lost the entire, well it has all the leaves have pretty much gone. But I'm hoping it's not dead, it'll throw out some more leaves. On this one, um, it's not looking good, is it? But I think this branch here looks okay. So again, I'm hoping that it, it'll just come back. Um, you know, it had, it had lots of fruit on as well. Whether or not they'll make up and I don't know. But anyway, the other two, I've got two more, they're fine, they're um, just spinning around. They're under that net, well, I'll just show you them anyway. These are the new canes off the Loganberry, these will uh, carry the fruit next year. I just sort of tie them in a bundle and put, put them to one side so they're out of the way. So these are the other blueberries here. You see, there's just a little bit of dieback on that one. But other than that, uh, they're looking fine. So, see how we go on with that. I've been feeding them as well. So it's not that they're short of food or anything. That mint's looking really good. And then the other thing I wanted to show you. So on these graphs, these apple tree graphs that I did, I'm having a similar sort of thing. Um, again, you see that the leaf here, it's not its not dry and crispy like it's, I mean I've watered them regularly, they've, they've had uh, bone meal, it's not as if they're short of water or food. So again, I'm just wondering whether it's, is it something in the compost? But then, if it was, because they're, they're all the, the same, I used the same potting mix, and there's I mean, the majority are fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with the foliage at all. So then I'm thinking, well, why, if, you know, if it is the compost, why would that one be like that? Why would that one be like that? I don't know. It's frustrating, though. So we've got one, this one here, two, this one, three, four. That's sending out new leaves. Um, that one, five, this one, six. That one, seven, so seven of them. Again, this one's sending out new leaves. I don't know, I just don't get it. So if anybody knows what that is, can you let me know, please? Uh, but I think I will, I will take this one. I'll, some flowers come in there as well, I'll just nip those off. Uh, I'll dig this one out and repot it in just some, you know, commercial just ordinary box standard compost and we'll just see whether or not that makes any difference. 
So it'll be time to start to do some thinning of fruit. Probably do it at the end of the month. In the 8x6, these are the uh, cherry tomatoes variety stew piece. They're coming up to the third truss. Bell peppers are doing okay. I pinched the tops out to encourage them to send out some side shoots. Here in the 10x8, the Crimson Crush are really going for it now. Uh, those three uh, are actually cherries. Sorry, yeah, these are cherries this side. This is the Crimson Crush. What am I talking about? Um, but yeah, they're looking really strong. I'll probably have to start removing some uh, of the foliage from lower down. And I also pinched out the basil just to make it uh, bush out a bit more. That's looking really good. And the cucumbers are romping on really nicely. I do have... You can see there there's some fruits coming. I think this is an all female variety. If memory serves right, it's uh, Lediva, I think it was. So, yeah, looking forward to those. Yeah, so in the frame here, that's uh, winter squash ready to go out. That's just a chrysanthemum cutting that I rescued. Uh, these are my spring cabbage. That is some um, more multi sown stew on. I'm just going to use those for spring onions. And then we've got the asparagus and um, some carnation cuttings there. So, looking down the plot, it's looking pretty lush. Those are savoy cabbage. I'll show you the other uh, lot which is uh, I sowed earlier. So, again, trying to get a successional harvest if you like. Salad bed, French, these uh, pongo beans are flowering and I've uh, sown some more which are just coming through. I've got those up at home so I can keep an eye on the watering. I'll probably be lifting this garlic uh, at the at, yeah, end of the month, it's 26 today so sometime late next week I'll, I'll take those out and then those spring cabbages will be going in this bed. I got the carrots thinned yesterday, so they're pretty good. As I said, that trick with the board worked fantastically well. And the parsnips are making up really nicely now. Peas are coming to an end. Uh, the pigeons did find them. Eventually, you can see where they've sat on the top here and just been stripping the foliage, but it doesn't matter because I've, I've had loads of them. So anything, I think what I'll do now is I'll just leave it for these to develop and use that as seed for next year. The beets have certainly appreciated the rain. I can harvest those any time now, this row here, ready for harvesting. The leeks have now got settled in and that rain will have done a world of good. The chard is ready for another harvest. And again, this is the uh, pongo beans. You can see they're in full flower. This dwarf curly leaf kale is ready for harvesting, so I've got two beds of that. And the shallots again, probably lift those very soon, maybe another week, ten days, they'll come out. So I'll have to find something to put in that bit of ground. And these three rows of uh, stew on have all thinned out now to just two onions to a station so I'll, they'll be left now to mature. So here's the other bed of savoy cabbage you can see they're much further on and they're actually just starting to form the beginnings of you know making a head and spinning around that's the first uh, lot of uh, purple sprouting broccoli they're looking really strong plants That's the other four plants over there. And here's the courgettes. So as I said, I did... Uh, I've got a plastic uh, mulch, if you will, on this row. And on this row I've just used some uh, grass clippings. Uh, looks to me like the ones here are definitely stronger plants than the ones on this side, but they're, they're all doing alright. In fact, we've got some... I'll probably take uh, a couple, well, yeah, 
I can start make take some today. I don't like them to get too big, to be honest. So I might uh, I might take one or two today, or certainly in the next couple of days. And just looking at the apple tree here, you can see that's the June drop. So the tree's a uh, way of getting rid of any excess fruit. And again, probably uh, I usually like to thin down to two to a spur. This is uh, variety discovery. And then the thornless blackberry is really now starting to come out in flower. And underneath that we've got sweet peas. Just get some of there. Shouldn't be too long now before they start flowering. And similarly as we walk down this row of um, cider apple trees, look down on the ground there, you can see all the little fruitlets dropped off. So I really do need to start getting in and thin, thin these out. I mean, if you look at that clump there, for example, there's six fruit on there. So I'd remove four and just leave two on. And in terms of uh, soft fruit, well, the black currants are making up and the one or two are just starting to turn now. And the summer fruit in raspberries are doing fine. So that's it pretty much in terms of a plot update. I'm just going to go and cut some grass, so I'll catch you later. Just a quick shot here. I've been mowing the grass on the micro orchard and I just wanted to show you these beautiful pinks. We've cut about uh, 80, between 80 and 100, 80 bunches I think actually so far and there's probably about the same to go again so yeah they've done really well. We just I think that rains, we had a say we had a lot of rain yesterday and uh, it's really helped to uh, bring them on. Okay, leave it there.